Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli back out here in the shop with a brand new series for you. And in this series, we're gonna be talking about one of my favorite lures that catch fish in a lot of different situations. And this is gonna be the ultimate guide to suspending jerk baits. Suspending jerk baits. Let me start this series by giving you a overview of this bait, um, where it works, the conditions it works in, and why this bait is so good. Over the course of the next three weeks, we're really going to get into the nuts and bolts of a suspending jerk bait. We're going to talk about cadence, how you fish the bait, how to impart action. Then we're going to get into modifying that bait so that it truly suspends, it slowly rises, or it slowly sinks. And how those altercations can help you catch more fish. And then finally in that last series, we're going to be talking about the rod, the reel, the line, and these are all super important things about the suspending jerkbait. But let's start with an overview. First of all, let me tell you that we are specifically talking about suspending jerkbaits, right? Jerkbaits that are in the water column that don't float, right? So, so they're true suspending, they're slow rising or slow sinking. We're not going to include floating jerk baits. We're not going to include soft jerk baits like soft minnow or fluke style lures. We're going to discuss those in a whole nother series. So the first thing is we're talking about suspending jerk baits here. But why are these baits so good? When can you use these baits? These are all great topics. First one is, let's, let's start with the when, and let's clear up a misconception that is the biggest mistake in all suspending jerkbait fishing, which is suspending jerkbaits are only good in cold water. Uh, late fall, winter, early spring, when that water's cold, 30, 40, 50 degree water, that's the only time suspending jerk baits are good. That is false. That is a false statement. Let me tell you this. Suspending jerk baits are great when the water's cold. They are at their best when the water's cold. But they are awesome. Just as good when the water is moderately cold, moderately warm, uh, mild, even hot, the suspending jerk bait can be a great lure. So the first misconception I want to get rid of is they're only good in cold water. That's not true. I think especially in the last, let's call it five to 10 years, you've seen the power of a suspending jerk bait in all water temperatures and all seasons. If you watch any of the tournament trails, Bassmaster, Major League Fishing, any of them, you have seen the results that it's just as good in other conditions. Okay, so cold water, yes. Mild water, yes. Hot water, yes. So that means the suspending jerkbait is a true four season lure. You don't see that with a lot of baits, right? You see a lot of baits are great and cold, they stink and hot, they're great and hot, they're terrible and mild. This one is very good in all those conditions. So winter, spring, summer, fall, this bait is unbelievable. Um, next condition is, let's talk a little bit about where. Where is this suspending jerk bait good? And it's got a lot of 
room, a lot of area where it's good, and it's got one area where it's not so good. So let's talk about where it's good. This thing will catch bass, and I mean all three species, right? Large mouth, small mouth spots. This suspending jerk bait will catch bass in all types of water, okay? Lakes, natural lakes, man-made lakes, reservoirs, ponds, rivers, streams, tidal rivers, right? Um, across the board, this is a fish catcher, right? In a lot of different types of water. Where it really excels, this one's important, guys. Listen on this one is a suspending jerkbait excels in conditions where the fish can see the lure, right? And if you watch my video series, you know that a fish eats a lure, re re reacts or responds to a lure based on different factors. Smell, uh, uh, smell which is scent, sound, vibration, right? Lateral line, vibration. And a fish responds to a lure based on sight. A fish seeing the bait. A suspending jerk bait is at its best when the fish can see the lure. So if there's any negatives to that lure, and there's not many, if there's any negatives to the lure, the one negative is you have to have some visibility to the water. Now I wanna clarify that because this thing is good in stained to lightly muddy water. I've had some of my best tournaments in stained to lightly muddy water with the suspending jerkbait. A Grand Lake Bassmaster Classic, the one where I yelled at the dog, you remember, very stained water and I caught most of my fish on a suspending jerk bait. So stained, um, uh, lightly muddy, heavily stained at the far spectrum, but as your water clarity increases, right? Regular stain, slight stain, clear, ultra clear. As your clarity increases, the suspending jerk bait gets better and better and better and better, okay? So if it has any negatives, suspending jerkbait is not great in ultra dirty or muddy water. And the simple reason is they can't see it. Can you get bites on it in chocolate milk dirty water? Yes, because it has sound, it still has vibration, but there are better lures to throw. So you want a little bit of visibility from Slightly muddy, heavily stained, all the way up to ultra clear. That's where that thing really excels. All right, two more points in this overview that make this lure a must have. And you've heard me talk about baits before, and a few of these bait categories are must haves in your tackle box, right? Um, a few of them you don't have to have. You know, if, if you like it, you can put it in there. This is one you have to have. The last two points on the suspending jerk bait that make it a must have is the fact that this is a lure that creates reaction strikes. Reaction strikes. Um, do you know, if you've watched my series, you know there's two types of bites you can get from a fish. One is a hunger strike. That fish is hungry. He sees the bait, he's hungry, he eats it because he's eating, he's feeding, he's actively feeding. That's a hunger strike. Suspending jerkbait, awesome when you're targeting fish that are eating. But that thing is just as good when fish are non-responsive or non-aggressive, non-feeding, right? And that's that bite that we call a reaction strike. When you're forcing that fish to feed. You're making that fish eat, even if that fish isn't hungry. And it's awesome because in the second part of the series, when we start talking about how to fish it, you're gonna hear a word called cadence. And you're gonna, you're gonna in this next series, you're, uh, in this next part, you're gonna hear me talk about cadence. 
And through our cadence, through our twitches and jerks, right? It's called a jerk bait, suspending jerk bait. Through our twitches and jerks, we're gonna force that fish to eat. We're gonna make that fish bite based on our retrieve, okay? If you don't believe me, I'm gonna use this example again. Watch any episode of Bassmaster or Major League Fishing in the last two years and watch guys fishing with their active target, fishing with their live scope, fishing with forward-facing sonar. Watch them use that in conjunction with a suspending jerkbait to make fish react that aren't hungry, okay? Point number three, it's a great lure because hungry fish bite it, not hung uh, unhungry fish, uh, less active fish bite it. Um, last but not least, this is a suspending jerkbait. This is a lure that excels in the middle of the water column, right? It's not a top water. It's not a bottom bouncing lure. It's not a jig or a worm or a Carolina rig or a drop. It's not at the bottom. It's not at the top. It's suspended in the middle of the water column and a suspending jerk bait is perfect for suspended fish. You've heard me say it before. Suspended fish have traditionally been one of the hardest type of fish to catch because they're in the middle of the water column. They're from a couple foot off the bottom to a couple foot below the surface. They're in the middle, they're roaming, they're not really relating this stuff. If they are, they're loose to it. That is one of the best, if not the best lure for suspended fish. You've heard me mention that active target, right? That forward facing sonar. And I think one of the things that we realized is fish suspend a lot more than we ever thought, right? Um, not just after a cold front, not just bluebird high pressure days, not just crystal clear water. Fish spend more time in the middle, suspended, than we realized. And that thing right there is a killer for suspended fish. It gets to the level of the fish. It hovers above them, in the middle of them, slightly below them. It hovers there. It slightly rises. It slightly falls. Or it dead suspends right around the level of the fish in the middle of the water column. Guess what? They got to go eat it. They have to go eat it. So the last point in my overview on suspending jerkbaits, it's a damn good lure for suspended fish. One of the best. Okay, um, suspended jerkbait, listen to me, you gotta have it in your tackle box. It's good in all water temperatures, not just cold water. It's good in a lot of different conditions, water types, minus extremely muddy water. It is a perfect lure for producing a reaction strike and it's got two or three sets of trebles. So even when they headbutt it, you're gonna catch them. And last but not least, it's a killer for suspended fish. Man, hang in there with us. We've got three more parts to this series, the ultimate guide to suspended jerkbaits. Um, we're gonna be talking about how to fish it, cadence. Uh, we're gonna be really diving into that. We're gonna look real quickly at size and color. Then we're gonna get into, this is secret stuff in, in the third segment. Getting that lure to suspend neutrally, neutral, neutrally buoyant, to rise slightly, to fall slightly, head up, head down, those little things, we can adjust this to get more bites. And, and when you want a, a slightly rising, slightly falling, right? We're gonna get into all that. And then the last series, we're gonna be talking about rod, reel, and line, which is pretty important for that. So hang in there with us on this ultimate guide to suspending jerk baits. Man, if you like these series, if you like these shop videos, do me a favor, stop right now. Hit that subscribe button. It's flashing right there at the bottom of the screen. Subscribe to my channel. If you're already subscribed, you got to tell your friends. you got to tell your buddies. Don't keep it to yourself. Have them subscribe to Mike Iconelli Fishing on YouTube. We're here to give some uh, information and help you catch more fish. So we'll see you next time talking about suspending jerkbaits.